Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Civ 5 on this True Start Location map mod as Afghanistan and get that out. And as promised today I'm gonna to be going through quickly the info addicts and seeing where we are because it's turn 150 and seeing where we are in regards to the world. So we have number one population ahead of Egypt, China, then there's the Netherlands and Assyria. So the only one really near to us there is Assyria. Could be a worry. Populate crop yield. Egypt, Afghanistan, so we're second there again with Egypt to still a good production. Egypt, us, China, Korea, the Ottomans, gold, us, Egypt, Assyria, Carthage, Spain, uh, land area, Egypt, us, China, the Huns, Germany, Afghanistan, Spain, Egypt. Okay, so we got the biggest military. The Huns are now up to six, but we're gonna try and call in Russia on our side. The other real big ones, social policies, Egypt 10, I don't see us, 8, oh that's fine, happiness, sire, no, we're not, as long as we're not negative, techs, we're 24, Egypt's 23, a few 22s, 21, majority of 19 there, I think we can agree, which means we are quite technologically advanced here in Afghanistan. We would be able to hit their capital from there, capital city. If you are unaware, we are about to go into a war with the Huns for these cities. The one they settled very near to us and the one they took from Persia. We won't be freeing it. There we go. Clear that encampment. Stop them spawning on Sri Lanka. And eventually our borders will grow into it. You want to give us a lot of money? No problem with me. This is going to be the nice last video of us playing the game itself on the high quality settings. I'm just going to have to lower it because it's getting too slow, especially when I load in. This city is massive. Like Egypt has got the second biggest population, 13 and 9. We have 10, 14, 6, 6 and a 2 down there. So if we take Mumbai, I want to let that city grow a bit, India grow it, and then we'll just take it when our borders grow to the sort of point where it would be beneficial to take it. There we go. Production, build a Colosseum so we can get our happiness up because we're about to take a big drop in it with a war with the Huns. Okay, you can do that now. Uh, what am I doing? Fortify. Come round these mountains. Build a farm. There you go. How is that guy doing? Coming down the side here. They're making their way down. And up here, our trireme is making its way up. If we can get it into the Mediterranean, maybe we can get some open... I think we have open borders with most of these nations. We could probably find Rome. And then there's only Austria here, who we can see their borders, but we haven't spoke to them. And then we've also got England and the Celts to find. And then we'll have met everyone in the game nice and quickly. Yep, everyone wants to be friends with us because we're pretty strong. Oh, there we go, Assyria. Babylon is being attacked. Now, that might not be the Ottomans doing that. That may be someone else that's in the war and just wait for the Ottomans to start attacking. So it should be soon, in the next few turns, that Russia will come to us and say that our ten turns is done. We can have a war with the Huns. Okay, you fortify there now. Build a workshop so we can get some good production going. Colosseum, there we go come up here oh there we go so Africa's looking like wow Ethiopia are already settling all the way down here that's hinting at a strong Ethiopia which means we need okay Persia and the Huns make peace and the Huns there I don't want to give you that much gold sorry and um so the Huns peace with Persia but didn't seem to be much fighting there so Babylon's just this city now. It's going to be an interesting game. Indonesia and these guys will eventually become a problem, I feel. Um, who needs orders? We'd stick them there, but I don't want to get them bombarded by both cities. They need to come up to the top. Worker. Build a plantation there when you get a chance. Good to see if the Songhai have any more cities towards the coast. Sort of just down a bit from their capital. P 
Persia's denounced the Huns. And then, if you denounce the Huns, it appears you'll make some allies pretty quickly. Because, um, you see, Port Persia did it there, and then all of a sudden Portugal became friends. Because no one likes the Huns. They've been in lots of wars. And everyone's kind of scared of them, I feel. Okay, so Morocco's already down here. Very deep into that part of Africa. Sub-Saharan Africa. Be interested to see how big Mongolia is. They have a lot of space to sort of go for here. As do all of these civs, really. It's time for our war. Bingo. There we go. Russia has declared war. We joined in. Now, do the Huns get their turn before our next turn? That's a big question, because our warriors are in a bad spot. But there we go. War. Oh, no. The Huns did something. We, oh, we just got a great general. That will help a lot. Okay, if we could try, I mean, it'll be a long shot to take Douglas in one turn. That's the plan. Catapult. Second catapult. Bowman. These guys can't actually hit anything. There we go. Um, come on. No, wait, we can't hit them still. Oh, come forward then. Take them down. Take it down. Oh, we can possibly do it this turn. Okay, I want these guys to... These dudes to... Bam, there we go. Annex will increase unhappiness by five. Well, let's just get annexing out of the way. That's a very good start. Very, very good start. Caravan. Go back to Persia, please. And you go to India. If that's where you've been going. Oliver Cromwell. He, he's very famous near where I live. Because he comes from very near to where I live. I won't tell you exactly, but... Yeah. Wait, was that Oliver Cromwell? Yeah, it was. Courthouse. Or it may be a relative of Oliver Cromwell. But I believe it was Oliver Cromwell. There we go. So Douglas, Sousa will fall to us. Now let's next turn see if Russia are good enough to take that city back. I wonder if the world's happy with us because no one seems to like the Huns. And we are finally taking stuff away from them. There we go, Germany quickly joining the war. I think they just wait for the big power to do it and then everyone will join in and finally get rid of the Huns. Although it would be nice to still have them there to stop Russia becoming too strong. But whatever. And the Huns barely did anything damage-wise. As long as we don't let them get their battering rams near the cities, we will be doing just fine. Because so Germany joined our war, which is kind of big, because Germany are fairly close by. Open terrain. Take them down. You also hit that thing. The thing, the battering rams. Bam. While you're here, let's try to destroy that unit. Can you get them? Can you? No. Okay, move up. There we go. Warriors, you're going to have to come across as well. Try and f heal, though. Scouts. Oh, no. Uh, What do we want you to do? Just stick them on. I'm just going to stick them on it. Improvements automated now, because it's not much to keep track of. Okay, policy. Ah, there we go. Exploration. That's always a good one, but... Yeah, we'll go for exploration, because I do want to have some colonies. And, you know, we can finish honour later on. For now, it was just go for it, so that we can... Uh, wait, I don't... We can move up there, but... People in the way. You come through, Great General. We can move these bowmen, actually, up now. Slowly. What's a garden do? Plus 25% Great People Generation. Uh, I just want to quickly grab some pikemen, just as another unit in case our warriors die. Uh, compass, university, we're, education, sorry, well we're kind of ahead in science, so if we can get that done, then you want to give me money for open borders, no problem China, you can have that. Gandhi's entered the medieval era. Yeah, because if we can get the universities up first, we just can get further ahead in science, and hopefully it'll just sort of begin to snowball for us. 
So we now have six cities and still got good happiness. Yes, wait, oh, I'm almost clicked. No, we can be friends. How are the Russia... Russia may take this city, which is Brit. And there we go. Carthage joins the war. Oh, wait, no. Carthage is... Oh, no, that's Assyria. Sorry, I got the flags confused. Don't know how. They look nothing alike. But anyway. Bowman. Push up. Can't quite do anything from there. So just fortify everything up and move in like... So we can do it in one swift blow. You could start bringing the city down, though. That... No. I don't want to be... No. What's going on? Okay, you just move there. We want to move the catapults up to the front lines. Just move everything up. Doesn't matter if it gets bombarded, really. We have enough stuff to sort of recover. I'm just going to bring this guy towards Douglas, just in case there's like a load of units there that we haven't seen, and they end up killing us. Yes, yeah, so we can start weakening Susa, though. Go for a Colosseum. Who needs orders? Over here. Bam. So this war's going very well. Wait, is that a Huns unit? Spain got another colony thing here. Which is interesting. Uh, chill there. You can just sort of come along and help out. Or watch. Is a better word to use. You want to give me that sugar? No, I don't want open borders with you, China. I want seven gold. No, what about six? There we go. That's good enough for me, six gold. We are about to become super strong. If we can take out Mumbai as well, very quickly after that marble. Do we have marble? Okay, and then I want to sort of settle here towards Bangladesh lands. Modern day Bangladesh. Like floodplains and stuff here. By these mountains. Just after that, so we can sort of solidify control of the sea and India Indian region then we can sort of figure out where to go from there so they're the plans for the future at least for that. another sea of declaring war so Syria the other warmongers now starting to get a little bit probably a little bit worried everyone's sort of declaring war on them okay, you bring them down bring it down oh damn it Move to here. Yeah, so it looks like they all rushed off to defend Novgorod, the former Russian city. I wonder, have they taken it back? And Russia should. I think they've taken it back already, Russia, and then the Huns took it back. So they're obviously not too bothered about these cities. We could probably push up and free the Persian city just to get Persia still on up, keep Persia on our good sides. Uh, you need to move in now. There we go. Okay, we need to get our warrior in so we can sort of take the city really quickly. And then that will all be pretty good. We should have d have this war done by the end of this video. Although we'll have to stay in it just to not annoy Russia. If our happiness is still good, we could probably take Nimrod just to solidify Afghanistan as a world power in the year 980 AD. So everyone's denouncing the Huns. No one's really joining the war. How are Germany... Okay, Russia didn't take it back. If Germany came in and stole it, I think we may actually see a strongish Germany. Okay, you've got promoted already. Come round, just in case we need you. Um, let's just use the catapult first. We kind of need to... Let's take a risk and assume we'll take it this turn. Actually, we won't because our warrior is not quite close enough. Move out the way. Ah, they've now got units coming, though. Why can't you take it? Okay, well, you just have to damage their battering rams. Can you hit it from this hill? Yes. There we go. Swing around here. Great general. Sort of come into the middle there. Offer your support to the people. Just chill here to defend. You build a plantation. You keep trying to find Mongolia and seeing how much they have at least grown so far. And then we will build another... Not a settler. What do we need here? We need more Colosseums. Oh. 
an aqueduct for food. Because this city is going to struggle for food eventually with all the mountains. This one's fine because so many floodplains. Plus 17 food. It's growing very quickly, at least down here. And this gap's filling up as well, so that's good. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to spread down here. We may have to just settle one city here to get the citrus. And get some more coastal seas. Ah, oh, our scout died. He was so close. Oh, wait, no. What? Oh, a composite bowman died. Oh, oh. Come round. Trade route plundered. Damn it. Persia, why could you not deal with whatever was there? It was probably a si the Huns that plundered it. Well, our warrior didn't die, so that's good. Break down. <laughs> the Huns aren't even... They they sent a few battering rams over, and now they're just like, no, we're okay. We don't want this. Come on. Liberate the city. No, I want to take that one. Okay, now we put our military up, and we just defend in a big line. Until the thingy ends, so that we can actually go into a war. Oh, salt. No, we have a salt mine. Okay, so there we go. So our war is done. Trade. Can't negotiate for another nine turns. Okay, so that's no problem. We are now looking super duper good for a little bit longer. We've got one, two, three, four, four. Wait, two, four, six, seven cities. Which is probably if I just check. Oh, cities the most in the world. So Babylon, India, the Netherlands will have one, yep. Afghanistan seven, that puts us ahead of Mongolia and Egypt. So yeah, that's going to make a story. It may make people hate us a bit, but no one's really going to do anything to us. Persia are weak. The Huns are now going to be weak. I mean, and India's weak. No one else is near us at the moment. But that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, as always, be awesome if you could leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.